Okay, in this video we're going to go through the printer settings you can make from the face of the printer. Um, I think it's more efficient to do certain things from the face of the printer. One of them is setting the, what they call the rest position. When you feed out a label, it will stop at a certain location. And here's the tear bar. And yes, if this was the printed label, you could tear it off and use it. But this is actually too far out. The spacing in between these labels is very, very small. And if we were to accept this position, we would have to feed that label way back in another, like, more than an inch in order to get it over the RFID tag. So what we really want to do is be able to move this tear bar position to the back edge of the tag. That'll pull the tag back as far as possible to get it closer to the RFID antenna so it can be encoded. So the way we do that, we go up here to the menu and under print settings, you'll have, I believe, label position. And notice we're in, in tear off mode, right? That's what we want. Tear line offset, that's what we want. So tear line offset, and you can either use the touch screen here, or you can use plus. Um, what we want to do is to move this and you'll see the labels move in the direction as we make an adjustment here. So I want to get this so it's just, that's a little too far. I want it to come back to, so if I tear it off, it'll be right at that edge, right? I think that's probably pretty good. And so we got minus 106, and that's going to be our tear-off position. Now you can go back on this. Maybe. There's also under label position, there is label offset. Whoops, sorry. And there's an X and a Y. And when you print your tags, if they print too far to the left or too far to the right, you'll adjust the uh, X position to move. I think if you go negative, it actually pushes the text to the right. Um, but we can check that in a little bit. But anyway, this is where you can make those adjustments for basically left-hand margin. And since we've actually adjusted the tag for the tear-off position, we've now changed the starting position of the tag. And we're going to want to also come back into here uh, where it says um, a Y axis position and we'll make an adjustment largely in the opposite direction. So I'm going to go um, you know, I'll leave it at zero right now because this is also affected by the bartender template margin settings. So we'll go back in and uh, take a look at what those are and then we'll come back, print a label and see if we can adjust the print uh, definition a little bit better. Now, coming back out of this, if I were to say, uh, okay, this is my final position, I'm going to lift up the print head and you'll see that my starting label needs to go back just a little bit, not too far, but just a little bit. So I might have a, um, um, I don't know, maybe one or two millimeters, which in this case is um, 12 or 24 dots. We might make that for an adjustment. But we're still way, way, way uh, out of position for where we want the RFID chip um, setting or the location to be. I'll try to get this a little bit better angle so you can see it hopefully. So what I want to do is I want to see how far do I need to go back before I'm going to be over that chip um, or that antenna position with the chip. Now the chip is largely in the middle of this thing and it's right on top um, of the roller. It needs to move back probably almost a full inch. And remember when we tear this off we're going to have just this section left and that's about 12 millimeters. So I, I don't really want to suck it back any more than 12 millimeters. Uh, otherwise, this will drop off of the of the drive roller and it will come forward again. So um, I'm going to go ahead and leave that where it is. We're going to make another change here now for RFID settings. And make sure I can see this. We'll hit menu. Sorry, I have to hit that. There we go. And menu. And now we come over to this one, which is RFID. And I'm not going to do any tests yet. I'm uh, 28 and 29 are probably eh, probably a good start for this tiny label. 
my antenna position is A2. That's kind of like A1, A2, A3, A4 is in the middle. So if you look at the back of one of these tags, you'll see that um, A1 would be kind of way over in the end. A2 is there, so A2 is maybe not a bad place to begin. And remember, we also have this other setting called Use Neighbors that we did on the home page. So that should help us there as well. Um, so A2, and then there's going to be a setting here for Program Position. Not a great name, but Program Position um, defines how much am I going to push the label forward or pull it back into the printer before I encode. And this is in millimeters, not in dots. We want to go back about 12 millimeters. Remember, again, that's this distance from this web here. From the tear bar position is going to be about there, and then we're going to pull it back that far. So I'm going to start with B12, right? Okay, now let's see if we can kind of emulate what that looks like. B12 would put this pretty much right at the top of the drive roller, like that. And we can test that position now by going back. And we'll just do a um, RFID test. Hit start. And it says read OK, write OK. So it looks like it's actually going to work. Uh, if you had read OK, write not OK, maybe you need to change the power and go up another notch. Uh, remember, you can only go as high as 30. So uh, you don't want to go too high, and certainly uh, if you go too high and you get more than one tag that's read, it'll void. If you go too low and it doesn't read any tags, it'll void. So it's that it's that tough balance there. But right now, I'd say that we're actually in pretty good position. Sorry for that. And we can go ahead and roll our la our labels back inside. Remember, these are not the little cheap ten cent RFID labels. These are these are labels that can cost a uh, you know, in some cases, a uh, dollar a piece, so um, don't waste them. All right, um, you know what? What I sometimes do will go put in about three or four labels before you close it, and then when you hit feed, it'll come out and won't waste as many. Okay, so at this point, I think we're good. We're going to back out of everything. Um, so that we're ready to print and we'll try printing a label. We'll do another video showing what the template page and margin sizes should be. And then we'll come back in here at the last step and push it uh, up or down to make sure that it's all printing and uh, on the surface of the white space and not on the margin.